So, off to Hobart today, um, just leaving Campbelltown. Um, and I've got my camera on the passenger seat there, and I'm going to see if I can find something on the way down. Thick shake from a little piece of heaven. I believe it was passion fruit and I got vanilla. And it's fantastic. So thick you can hardly suck it up through the straw. Would recommend. Disaster! How do I drink through that? In other news, look, the crack in the windscreen's fixed. I'm very excited. So welcome to Wetlands. Um, this wetland I've never seen quite so full before. Um, when I've been here in the past it's been like a little patch way over that way. Um, but I was driving down today, I know there's some wetlands so there's going to be some birds here, there's going to be some wildlife. Stop by and look at this place, it is absolutely enormous. Um, got my camera, gonna go for a wander and see what I can find. So this is one species. If you've watched any of my other videos, you might know I have all over the place here in Tassie, at least in wetlands. The black swan. And here we have another of the little seemingly more common ones, the purple swan pen. Or more correctly, Australasian swamp hen. <laughs> Not sure how well you can see this one. But this is the little Pacific black duck. That little whitish head and then black stripe that just sort of includes their eye. Very common, relatively mallard, but another beautiful little bird. So this is where I've just been, down over here. There's the famous Oatlands Windmill. <laughs> we come around. I had no idea any of this was here. Look at the size of this place. It just goes on and on. Helped no doubt by the recent rain we've had, but it's huge. Oh my God, can you hear that? Banjo frogs, two of them. One's calling, then the other. <laughs> I reckon I want to get down there walk along that. Wetlands either side. It's just a matter of getting through this grass. Alright, so here we have a new species to the channel. Oh, and off it goes. Nah, lost it. So that was a white-faced heron. They're large fish eaters wander along with their long neck and long beak and just dip into the water to pull out a fish. Was hoping that if I waited and watched it, I might get it doing that, but no luck this time. I'll keep walking, keep seeing what I can find. Well, I found a bit of a path down to be a bit closer to where that heron is. And got a bit of a shot here. In an update, the heron has moved a bit closer. There it goes, spreading its neck to strike.
no luck there either. Um, so instead I'm going to keep walking along um, this little path and see if I can find these cockatoos I've been hearing calling from the tree quite a while and kind of the reason I came down here in the first place. Um, yeah, we shall see. This is the island I'm looking at by the way. Sort of an island I guess. Not sure if this causeway leads there but either way I can hear them in the top of that rightmost tree. So we'll go and have a look. So they might have moved on from that tree by now but this is the wonderful thing about wildlife photography. You never know what it is you're going to find. I don't know if I'll be able to show you these, but as I walk through here, there are hundreds of little blue dragonflies, insects of some sort. There's one. For every step I take, a new cloud of them appears. I don't have the right lens to get photos of them, but they are so pretty. I walk and swallow having a drink. Not sure what these guys are. Bird of prey of some sort, I reckon. It's two of them, this one. I'll come over here please, I'd love to get some photos of you. Ah, Swamp Harrier, there we go, you can see that white bit above its tail. There it is. And there's the other. I'm going to go for a walk over there and see if I can get a bit closer. Is it just me or does this one look, look like it's seen something? Like it's in a bit of a daze. Be unwell. Looks like some of the feathers are missing from his neck. Just the way it's really scratching and pruning. Maybe just likes to be clean. So I've been sitting here for a while with my little swan friend. Um, it's just such a lovely spot. Um, there's some nice rocks here for a bit of shelter from what little wind there is today. Uh, there's this one which I've been taking some photos of and some video of, um, really letting me get very close. I wonder if maybe it's a bit unwell. Um, it's got some feathers missing from its neck and it seemed to be grooming that area particularly um, aggressively. Um, but yeah, wetlands either side waiting to see what will come along. I've had a few swans fly over, um, but not really close enough to get a good shot. <laughs> Here come the black cockatoos, so I'll see if I can get some photos of them. No luck there. Um, I wasn't quite fast enough getting my lens in the right spot, but even if I had been, they would have been black silhouettes, silhouettes against the white background, so not quite working out today.
these little blue insects are still all over the place up here. Look how pretty they are. I feel almost bad disturbing them. But when you're in a spot like this, it's kind of hard not to. Or at least back in the direction I've come from. Spent an hour waiting down there at the end of this little causeway type thing between the two wetlands. Between the two halves of the same wetland, perhaps. Um, that swan is still there, uh, having a bit of a snooze. Hoping I might still see that. Um, white-faced heron on the way back and maybe have another chance to get it eating something, but we'll see. Um, certainly not expecting it to be back there. It seems to have flown, seemed before to have flown off to another part of the wetland for a feed. So that was Oatlands. I think this is called Lake Dolverton. I'll double check that. Um, but what a lovely spot. Um, some really nice wetlands. It's so good to see it full of water. Uh, we've had such a wet year down here. Uh, in Tasmania that I, I'm not overly surprised to see it full of water, but it is nice. Um, and so much, so many birds, plenty of black swans. That white-faced heron was really cool to see. Uh, I might have got some photos of those uh, black cockatoo, not sure. See when I get home. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I might see you next time.